2023, I won't retire from politics, no, never, until I become Nigerian's president, Tinubu declares. Hello, my wonderful people. Ashiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu has declared, I am not retiring from politics. So whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. Whatever you want to say, please say, for me, I'm not leaving this politics, okay? I've made people presidents, I've made people governors, I've, you know, supported people, I've done this, I've done that. I'm not retiring. I'm not. I'm going to be there. I'm going to do all I can to see to it until I actually become Nigerian's president. So that's the dream for Ashiwaja Medbola Tinobo. He's told Nigerians before that, is, you know, becoming Nigerian's president is his lifelong ambition. That's what he said. It is his lifelong ambition. So these are some of the things, you know, ongoing. These are some of the things going on, you see. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, I won't retire from politics until I become Nigerian's president, Tinubu. And all progressive Congress APC presidential aspirants, Ashiwaja Medbola Tinubu, on Tuesday said he will not retire from politics. No, never. Tinubu said he won't retire, no, until he becomes Nigerian's president. He made a declaration while wearing APC delegates in Burnway State ahead of the party's primary elections. The APC national leader pledged to bring his wealth of experience to bear on governance if elected. Tinubu also declared himself as the best man to replace Buhari right now. He says, I am one of the best. I can assure you, I can tell you who truly I am. According to Tinubu, I won't retire from politics until I am president of Nigeria. I will bring the experience of my leadership in Lagos as governor to bear my leadership style in Nigeria. There is no contest between me, whoever will emerge as candidate of the opposition, People Democratic Party, PDP. The APC national leader assured that if and when elected as president of the country, he would run a transparent and open government. I guarantee you that I will run a transparent, open government. Nigeria is rich. What we need is to redirect our resource and channel them to the right direction. I can assure you we will create more jobs and make this country a much better place. We're going to do all we possibly can in our power to ensure that Nigeria becomes what it should be. The reason why the country has been the way it is, we've not really had good leadership. And good leadership is what we need now to transform the course of the nation and make it into a better place for every one of us. You know, so this is what Tinubu was saying to delegates, okay, was saying to delegates, uh, you know, in regards to all that is going on and, you know, uh, this is what Tinubu has to say. I said, well, I, you know, I truly, I, 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 I'm going to make, make, make Nigeria a better place that Nigeria is rich. Nigeria has all it takes. And I'm going to, you know, redirect those, you know, those rich qualities that Nigeria has to bring the nation to that place where she ought to be. So at the end of the day, Nigeria can truly, you know, get the, you know, unless what they should get from the government and from the presidency so that we, you know, the country can move forward. Well, again, let's look at it. These are called promises, okay? And like you all know, like we will say, talk is cheap. Anybody, I repeat with the emphasis on anybody, could promise you heaven on earth. Anybody can tell you anything. Anybody can say anything. Anybody can come and give you all the you know, all the words and everything, you know, anybody can say anything to you, but you yourself, it's what you take and do with it. That's what matters. 2015 is a clear cut example that remains with every one of us until, until, I mean, in the history of Nigeria, it remains there. It goes nowhere. Okay. In the history of Nigeria, it goes nowhere. It has become, you know, it has become a real you know, a real benchmark for every one of us to begin to reanalyze and redirect our hearts and our minds on what has been and where, you know, and what is happening. 
So these are things happening. These are reality staring us all in the face. Okay? Like I said, anybody can promise us anything. 2015, the promises were over the roof. What happened? What happened to all the promises we got? What happened? So this is the reason why we must come out of the present predicament and we must make right decision. Going forward, we cannot, be, we cannot allow lies to direct our affairs. We cannot allow lies, you know, to, to direct our affairs. We, don't, we, we cannot allow it. We can't allow it. Okay? I'm not saying Tinubu is lying. No, not at all. That's not the bone of contention. What we are getting out and what we are saying now is, if we are going to be choosing leaders, then we better choose well. Sentiment must be out of the table. We better put our minds together, our hearts to it, and vote. Okay? That man, that woman, we all feel confident in has, I mean, we give the benefit of a doubt because at the end of the day, all you see and know concerning a man is what you see and what you hear and probably the track record. But again, people change. Okay, of course, Tinubu will, will rather tend towards the, towards the north. And when there are issues, I mean, his response has been another Buhari's response. Say no evil, hear no evil, he will rather be silent. So when you look at it, where do we stand and how do we go in terms of all that is happening? You know, how do we stand with, in terms of all that is going on? So these are the real questions and these are the things that are happening. Okay, so Nigerians, it's time for us to redefine our value system and make a peak. Okay, we'll make a peak of all the bunch we've got. We must speak and we must speak wisely. We can't just continue, okay, and pretend that these things are not happening. Sincerely speaking, they are really happening. Innocence is no way near it, okay? Innocence is no way near it. You know, we must all, you know, do what we can to ensure that, you know, we have a better, you know, better country for us all to be able to live and, you know, and, and, and thrive, Okay? Because, I mean, look at our educational system. That's one of the things that, that is really, you know, annoying me. It could be better. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.